package in that one on a single package and then we get way Get like another year out of these pants. Boom. Okay, hello! Hi! Welcome back, Wild Strawberry Garage. Here we are working on the 1969 Sluggy C3 Road Racing Corvette. The famous 97 win Road Racing Corvette. Um, today, what's gonna be on the agenda? Well, in the last video you saw me get this thing in primer and you saw me do that removable cross member. Uh, I neglected to mention the, the reason for that removable cross member is so whenever you have to change transmissions, super easy. Drop it right out of the bottom and you can pull the transmission straight down. Um, and that's instead of, you know, having to jockey it back with the input shaft out and then drop it forward. Now we can just pull the whole thing straight back. There's going to be a removable element in the floor as well once I get that. So we can get it all the bolts from the transmission to the bell housing from up top and, and from the bottom. So, yeah. That's why I did that. It's a good thing to have. Um, all right, so other chassis upgrades. Um, I'll show you here in a second, but I made, I was going through the Chevy power manual. Um, it's actually published on Duntog's website. They have it in PDF. Check it out if you're building one of these cars. It's a great resource. Um, I went through and I made some gussets uh, for the frame mounts for the engine. I'll show you that right now. an amazing machine. I'm welding on an ancient Millermatic D35. I got it for $150 at a swap meet. And it lays beads like that. Cacao. Not bad. Ow. Right? So that was those two. Um, I did it on both sides. The welding came out nice. Uh, I'm, I'm super happy with them. They're quarter plates. Probably, probably overkill, but you know, I'd rather be on that side of things than on the, the left prepared side. So I'm going to be doing a couple more chassis upgrades today, and then I'm going to get to mocking up the suspension. Now, I've already got one side mocked up. You can't see it. Um, but I'm gonna get this side mocked up, then I'm gonna get the steering linkage on, I'm gonna get, I mean, the steering rack on, the steering box, you know, the idler arm, uh, hook up the tie rod ends, and, and just get this front end ready to be a roller. Um, the reason I'm doing that is I'm hoping in the next couple days I'll be getting that uh, firewall back and I can start fitting the body. Um, so I'm trying to get as prepared for that as I can. And again, you're gonna see me putting some dirty parts on and some, some like the control arms need new bushings and ball joints and all that stuff. This is all just mock-up. This is mock-up and dry fit. Everything's coming back off because I still gotta paint the frame in epoxy. And I wanna go through and sandblast all these parts, get all the new bushings that I'm gonna need and uh, really clean them up nice so this thing goes back together looking, looking pretty. But one rough fit and then we'll get to the rest. So yeah, here we go, let's get started. All right, so the first one I'm gonna be going after is this big hole right here. Uh, I'm gonna make a circle piece, 
to fit over to fit kind of bevel it to kind of fit in there and then weld it all the way around and then grind it flat uh, this is your three bolts for your steering box as you can see they take carriage bolts um, I'm gonna not do that so I'm gonna actually also make another plate to go here and get some longer regular nuts and bolts to go through and go through that reinforced plate to uh, really strengthen up the steering because the steering in these will actually flex the whole frame so that hole this little guy and this little guy there's a little sneak preview i got the one side mocked up already i did that off camera sorry um so yeah get you set up on the bench use the hole saw to cut out a nice piece and then clean off some of that paint and uh, get it buzzed in there. So here we go. that in and uh yeah grind off the excess and then uh yeah so now i can actually hold it here we go That'll work. Uh, on to the next one. Instead of, I don't have a hole saw that's the right size for this little guy here. So I found this nut and it fits really nice. And I can just fill the middle in. So that's what I'm gonna be doing for this one and then the little hole on the other side, so. reinforcing these lower control arms. So I'll do that once I, uh, I'm done with the mock-up, once I have it off and I have them on the bench and I'm cleaning them up and that. Um, so yeah, that's it for, for now for the chassis strengthening. Uh, I'm gonna move on to mocking up that other side and I'll show you uh, getting all that together and getting the steering rack and all that on and the power st and, the, and the steering box and maybe I'll even get to the sway bar today if I can find pushings. I might know where some are, so. Let's get it.
today um, for this video. Got some good stuff done. Got that uh, most of that Chevy power manual re chassis reinforcement stuff. Uh, I'm liking the way the front end's looking for the mock-up and uh, get me towards the roller. Uh, next time probably we'll be getting the rear suspension together and hopefully next time I'll have my uh, firewall back section and I can start fitting that on this frame. So big things coming. Big things coming and it's moving on, moving along a little quicker than I thought. So that's all good. Um, perfect quarantine project. So I want to do another garbage giveaway, um, another comment giveaway. So on this video, leave a comment, you know, like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, I'll pick someone at random again and send you some more sluggy, some more sluggy trash. Um, I'll shout them out in the, in the next video and uh, get it sent off to you. So. Goodbye for now. Like, comment, and subscribe. Please, please, please. And uh, I'll see you next time.